Hey, yeah, Viva has a lot of different things besides, you know, tough tools for half the price, but they have a lot of different, you know, restaurant supplies, agricultural supplies, and tools. I also saw this past week, I noticed they have uh, laser engravers and CNC machines. Oh, <laughs> we'll be getting those in at some point, I'm sure. But in the meantime, I picked something different this week. I just wanted to show you guys on a Thursday and give it a try because uh, it's just an odd item. And it's a, it, you know what it is? It's a steam cleaner from Beaver. Yeah, you could take out stains out of like, you know, grout and tile, uh, carpet, uh, and uh, maybe even the stains out of the bucket seats in the car. We'll have to find out. We're gonna open it up and get into it. So let's have a look at this bad boy. Yeah. Well, I've opened the box from Beaver and here's the uh, steam machine, yeah, and it's <laughs> you got the main unit, of course. It's got a really long power cord and also a really long uh, hose here for the wand for the steam and two extensions, so that's cool. But you, there's so much stuff here, it's kind of crazy. I didn't realize it was going to come with all these accessories, I guess. It's a really heavy, uh, looks like a rag, I know, but it's a really thick specialty one for. Uh, working with the steam. You also have a little funnel, also another little rag, several little round brushes for stuff like stainless steel and, and cleaning windows. There's even a window one here. Let's see if I can, where did it go? Where, uh, there it is. This is one for with the rubber wiper here for doing steaming to clean windows, which I can imagine would probably do a really good job. You also have the carpet runner here, which will, you know, you could run over carpet with that. But there's also a spray head nozzle where you can blast steam for cleaning at just a certain spot. And this is just for winding the cable on. It did confuse me when I first saw it. I was like, what the, you know, something new. And a hanger for also for hanging uh, stuff like the clipping on and stuff of this. And also we have a nice little hand wand job here, again, for steam cleaning stuff. So there's a lot that comes in this thing. And I got to get the rest of it unpacked, of course. But, uh, and of course the measuring cup here for the water to put in the machine because it's going to be doing steam cleaning. Steam cleaning is cool because you can clean machinery. You can clean fabrics and you know, like I said, there's a lot of different uses for a steamer. A good one, at least. You know, I'm, I'm talking about those little Mickey Mouse ones they sell on the, uh, you know, as seen on TV deals. Yeah, this is more like the real deal where you're going to do some serious steam work. Yeah. Okay, I've started putting this together. I probably am not going to be using these wands right now, but I, I put these two extensions on to show you the, the great big long wand you've got on here. You also have a locking switch back here. So right now I can hit it with steam switch on or I can lock it out so that the steam switch doesn't hit by, by mistake. Uh, there's just some danger with steam, so it says to, you know, lock the kids and the pets and everything. Lock them in a room someplace, keep them away from, you know, the steam. Yeah. Steam, it'll burn, you know. It'll burn anything, yeah. And uh, this comes with about 10 feet of hose, uh, you know, plus the extension wands and the trigger here, so you've got quite a bit involved. Uh, I'm going to take this back off for a second because we just don't really need that out thing. At least not for demonstration. I'll put something here on the bench and we'll, we'll steam clean it, but uh, I'm still unpacking a little bit here. I thought I had it all. I guess I don't. Wow, this is really neat. And the electrical cord here, check this out. I mean, this is, I don't know, there's got to be another 10, 20 feet of cord here. Wow, we, which is a good thing because, you know, when you're steaming, like if you're working around a car or something like that, uh, a lot of times you're out remote away from the house and stuff trying to steam. Oh, look at this thing. I mean, look at this cord. This is... I'll bet you you got 15 feet of cord here at least. Yeah, that is a, that is a lot of power cord, which is good. Because you can remotely run this out by the car and be steam cleaning. Car especially, but also even mechanical parts. A lot of times, uh, years ago in the good old days, we used to steam clean the automotive parts. To clean them up before we would paint or reassemble or do whatever we were doing with the cars to get the grease and the gunk off them and that was really a natural way compared to using the chemicals and stuff the steam is is, is safer from chemicals i guess but at the same time it will burn you so you have to be really you know you should be you know maybe wearing some gloves maybe even some goggles because you don't want that steam coming back at you because it, like I say it will do some serious damage so I'm going to get this plugged in. Uh, we'll hook up, uh, let's hook up the little wand or something. We'll go find a piece of carpet or something with a stain in it and we'll see how it does. Yeah, so this might be a good carpet. This is an old carpet from my barn. We've got a stain in here where she shampooed and stuff. We could not get this stain out of here. I don't know if it's oil or what it is, but I'm going to hit it with the steam 
and we'll see how it does. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, steam. I mean, you can just blow dirt away with steam. All right, this is a little overkill, but it's the idea that you can clean machinery up. Uh, such as farm, farm machinery would be a good example, I guess. But with the steam, when you say, steam just to just move the junk. Uh, just to clean stuff, you know, uh, steam does a fantastic job on, on just gunk like this, like this dirt where you've got a lot of buildup. I don't recommend doing this in your car, okay? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, if you let's do the tire, see if I can get that up there somehow. So I can sort of show you the tire job. Now you get the idea. I mean, it's cleaning all the gunk off the tires, so that's a cool thing. You know, I don't really need that junk in my driveway right now, so I'll quit. But, uh, but, and, and then just look at this right here, the side piece right here. And a little bit of steam, and you can just dry the junk right off of it. Whatever's been on there for years. Yeah. So a little bit of farm machinery or equipment machinery around like this, so you just want to kind of clean it up and get the junk off. It'll do the trick. Now there's a couple of features here we got to talk about, I guess. Uh, this small brush here, uh, you can do stainless steel. So if you do pots and pans, restaurant, venting, any kind of thing where, you know, stainless steel needs to be like virtually cleaned and sterile, you know, again, you can use this machine for that type of thing. It has a green light and a red light. Now the green light will come on when the steam is ready. Uh, the red light will come on when you either run out of water or there's not enough water or whatever in it. So it's, it's uh, you know, fairly simple, straight, easy enough, you know, machine to use. You have a cord collector back here. You also have a stand back here where you can put this wand, which also has a hanger here for the rest of your stuff. And you can just, you know, put that in there and you can just pull it around the room or whatever, wherever you're working at the shop or something, if, if you need to have it, you know, handy. They're great for cleaning up anodized aluminums and things like that too, sometimes to get some of the junk off before you say get into, you know, polishing and metal works and that sort of thing where you're doing the hot rod car stuff, you know, yeah. Uh, upholstery, uh, stain in the seat. We had a car today that we were looking at with a friend early this morning and it had a big stain in the passenger seat and I says, man, if you could get the car over here, we'll steam it on, on the show right now. Uh, he's probably trying to yeah cut a deal in another hour or two so we're we won't be able to show the car and try to get to see if we can get the stain out of the uh, mystery stain from the passenger seat of his car but also uh wrinkles in fabric whether it be curtains or even if you have a green screen hanging and you got a lot of wrinkles in it, a lot of times you can sort of steam the wrinkles out a little bit which is really helpful with a machine like this so they're handy, kind of a tool machine around the workshop, but also around the household. Now it'll also do windows with steam, which is really cool, but I'm not gonna do that because if I do, and if it comes out really good, the wife will have me clean every window in this house. Oh God, no. Anyway, so we will not do that. Now I've had to fill this up twice to get enough water in the machine to where it's supposed to be ready to be used, which was cool. There's a good set of instructions with it and it sort of warns you a lot about the dangers of steam. Yeah, steam, you know, it's not something to, uh, it's not a toy, you know, it's something that can really cause harm. So you have to be very careful with steam. But steam does a great job for cleaning stuff up. So, ha, uh, and we'll have a link below in the description from Beaver, of course. Uh, I don't know if we have a Black Friday sale on it, but we have uh, some kind of a good price from what Beaver tells me to show you. And they've got a link set up for me so I can offer it to you guys to go take a look. 
check it out if you're if you're thinking about it. Uh, there's a lot of different steam applications around the house, the workshop, and uh, <coughs> the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, or where commercial things, you know. Steam is handy to have. Also, a lot of fabric shops carry these things because a lot of times they can fix a problem in fabric with a steamer. Uh, I wouldn't build a wood box and try to build a uh, cedar strip canoe. That yeah, this is not that kind of steamer. You know, it I, it might work. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, it's on wheels. If I didn't mention that, but uh, and Viva of course has their brand name on it. Uh, it's simple enough to use. Anyway, thank you for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Over and out.